OCR GCSE Computer Science, Episode 28, Pseudocode and Flowcharts. In this video, we'll look at pseudocode, what it is and how it how does it work. We'll look at flowcharts, what those are and the key shapes, and finally end on some exam questions. So pseudocode follows a similar structure, but is not the same as programming languages that show clearly how the different steps of an algorithm without worrying about the finer details, i.e. the syntax, the rules of the program. So you can see here, it uses normal everyday language like start, call, and these definitely are not recognized by a lot of programming syntax, so the rules that you can only use this word and this word, but it makes sense and it follows the same ideas. Now, flowcharts are another way algorithms can be written. You can see that there's different symbols and shapes here. So an arrow just means that it's directing you from one shape or one instruction to another. You've got the almost circle looking thing, which is a start and the end. You've got the parallelogram, which is the input and the output. You've got the rectangle, which is the process and the diamond, which is the decision. Now, this is a simple flowchart used to calculate the average of an input of five different numbers. So you can see here, you start, you ask the user to input five different numbers labeled A, B, C, D, and E. You then undergo the process of adding those numbers together. You then go under the process of averaging them, which just means dividing them by five. And then you've got your output, which is displaying the average and then your end. Now let's do some exam question practice. Can you draw a flowchart about a game which requires the player to pick a number between 1 and 20 and then pick another number and then the program outputs the answer? This is four marks, so have a go. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure you subscribe to Noble for GCSE and Noble for A Level. We do a range of subjects on both channels. And yes, good luck in your exams. See you soon.